form a task force on reducing violent crime. I have further ordered the Departments of Homeland Security and Justice, along with the Department of State and the Director of National Intelligence, to coordinate an aggressive strategy to dismantle the criminal cartels that have spread all across our nation. We will stop the drugs from pouring into our country and poisoning our youth, and we will expand treatment for those who have become so badly addicted. At the same time, my administration has answered the pleas of the American people for immigration enforcement and border security. By finally enforcing our immigration laws, we will raise wages, help the unemployed, save billions and billions of dollars, and make our communities safer for everyone. We want all Americans to succeed, but that can't happen in an environment of lawless chaos. We must restore integrity and the rule of law at our borders. For that reason, we will soon begin the construction of a great, great wall along our southern border. Well, he did fit it in, didn't he? He just didn't elaborate. But there you go. (laughs) Build that wall. As we speak tonight, we are removing gang members, drug dealers, and criminals that threaten our communities and pray on our very innocent citizens. The uh, bad hombres, and it's not Trump's job to repair the whole planet, is it? We expect our partners, whether in NATO, the Middle East, or in the Pacific, Pay their to take fair a share. direct and meaningful role Watch this. in both strategic and military operations and pay their fair share ah, of the cost. Look at that. that. Imagine that. We will respect historic institutions, but we will respect the foreign rights of all nations. Powerful. And they have to respect our rights as a nation. Thank you. Does that not make sense? That's common sense. Free nations are the best vehicle for expressing the will of the people, and America respects the right of all nations to chart their own path. My job is not to represent the world. My job is to represent the United States of America. All right, folks, uh, we broke it down. We try to let you hear the important parts of the speech, and I believe everything was in there. And, uh, boy, did we not pack that in there and perfectly timed out today. You can imagine that with minor blunders, which is <laughs> it's absolutely great. Love when it happens. Hope you learned a lot because uh, some of you just haven't had the opportunities to uh, be able to sit down and just watch that whole speech. We're doing dishes or homework or just resting, uh, unplugging from uh, all the day's uh, work and toil. We appreciate you so much tuning in and sharing the show with other folks around the country. If you like the show, please tell somebody about it, where to find the show on this radio station that you're listening to the broadcast on. Thank the sponsors by doing business with the sponsors of this radio station. And if your station in your city, your hometown, doesn't carry For the People, call them and share our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's our website, ForThePeopleShow.com. Remember, we're listener-supported 100%. Your donations do make a difference to keep us on the air. We appreciate it. Keith Allen saying all the best. May God bless.